Hello mga kajans, welcome to my YouTube channel. <laughs> okay, so here with me is my friend Monette. Hi. She's also an au pair here in the Netherlands. And today, magumukbang kami habang in-interview ko siya about her au pair experience sa Luxembourg, Belgium, and here in the Netherlands. Introduce yourself. <laughs> so I am Monette. I am 26 and I am from Philippines, somewhere in the north. Where exactly is the north? Taga Navabiskaya po ako sa may bandang region too. So I am an au pair here. This is already my third country in the Netherlands. So I've been an au pair in Luxembourg for a year. Tapos naging au pair din po ako sa Belgium for a year as well and this is my third country and third year to be an au pair. So hello! Yeah. Palak ka naman natin si Monet. Oy! Ate kami naman yun. Paano mo nalaman yung au pair program? So actually my aunt suggested and then I looked into the website yung au pair world that kompuyata or there's also another one which is the great au pair that kom yeah just sadela ko don and then i yeah i sign up there and then registered and then i i made a profile there and then luckily i found the host family in luxembourg yeah that's yeah that's how i found au pair program Mahirap ba maghanap ng host family dito? Yeah, uh, in general, I think that there are also some families that uh, yeah, na nilagahanap talaga. Kasi they all, the, uh, most of the families prefer Filipinas. So, I think for us it's also an advantage that we are Filipinas because yeah, we are very good at kids. We are very patient and we are very hardworking. Yeah. So, ano yung mga duties mo as an uh, au pair doon sa mga country na napuntahan mo? Ah, yeah. In general, more on childcare and light household work. Mm. Mas Mahirap ba mag au pair dito sa ano? Mm. Mahirap ba? What do you think? Yeah. <laughs> iba iba kasi te, kasi in Luxembourg. Yeah, they are very nice families, but of course you also have to look after with the kids. Yeah, that's the main thing na kailangan mo pagtuunan ng pansin, yung mga bata. Mm -hmm. Siyempre, sometimes wala yung mga hosts, wala yung mga amo mo, so you are responsible with them. Yeah. Right? So, minsan, hindi naman may iwasan na may mga kasawayan, may mga tantrum sila, mm -hmm. but in the end they are still very sweet with you. And they are very uh, attached na. Mm -hmm. na hinahanap sa nila, they want to play with you. Yeah, parang so, malapit na sila, yung loob nila sa mm -hmm. inyo. Yeah, exactly. So, ilang taon ka doon sa Luxembourg, Belgium? Well, so, sa Luxembourg, my first au pair country was one year. Mm -hmm. And then, Belgium, one year. Also, because that's also the maximum stay of an au pair. Like here in the Netherlands. Hindi ka na po yung mag-renew. Yeah. Yan lang talaga yun. Yan lang talaga. It's like also here in the Netherlands now, na one year lang yung maximum na allowed ka to stay here. So since okay. nag-out nag pair ka, since you participated in this program, ano na yung mga okay. countries na na-visit mo? Gano? <laughs> ano yung unang country yeah. na na-visit mo since nag-Luxembourg ka? Mm. I've been to Spain, mm. in Barcelona, and yeah, it was very nice there. It was one of my favorite countries. Sa din yun po gusto kong puntahan. Anong sinabi mo? Binibenta mo ba ako? Tapos, I've been to Italy as well because my mom is working there. Yeah, my mom is actually in Italy. Nakapag-Venice ka na? Or Rome? Not in Venice. I visited Rome. I visited Florence and Bologna. I've been to Disney Paris. Mm. Yeah, they said that it's Place. the happiest place in the earth. I've been there with my Luxembourg host 
mm. family. I'm uh, from here in the Netherlands and I've been some of the cities and places in Belgium because I stayed there for a year so in Belgium as well. Mm. It's nice. Yeah, I've been to Belgium. Mm. Pero hindi ko nalibot yung lugar kasi nga kailang ko na umilis. One day lang ako. Yung mga namimiss mo sa Pinas. Ito. Mantumat. Ito, kamay. Kamayan. Tapos itaas mo ang paa. Kamay ka. Dawa. Dawa. Tuyo, ganun siya. Tapos pinakbet. Ba't na nakakano dito, no? Pag nanganap-anap mo yung... Pagkain sa Pinas. Pero uh, the good thing is, nakakapagluto naman po kami ng katulad po na ng mga pakbet. Ay na yung dalhin yung lasa ng Pinas dito. So after here in the Netherlands, mag pair do you have any plan to uh, participate like France or mm -hmm. Germany or any other country? Yeah. Denmark, Norway. Yeah, actually, yes. Because some of the countries, the age limit to be an affair is until 30, 30. So, as long as there's a chance, as long as there's a possibility, then why not? Totoo, totoo. Ganun ang ginawa ko. Of course, as long as you're staying legal here. Dapat na legal ka para mga... Kapag visit ka na ibang country. Yeah, of course, yeah, yeah. At madali lang mag-apply ng uh, visa sa kaling gusto mong lumipat or another. How was your um, experience so far since you participated in this program? Do you like it? Do you love it? Or you don't like it? <laughs> there are some advantages, disadvantages, of course. <laughs> of course, I was very grateful that I am here in Europe. I can travel uh, wherever I want. Nakakapunta po ako sa mga lugar na mga historic. Like, uh, I've been to Berlin as well. Has it ever crossed your mind na, oh, yan ang Pilipinas at hindi na mag-opair? Oh, no, no, no. Kasi the thing is, hindi naman po natin mapagkakailan. Ang hirap po ng buhay natin dyan sa Pilipinas. Kaya Especially this time. Mm -hmm. Yeah, go with the whole. Mm -hmm. Kaya sacrifice lang din, tiis lang po. Siyempre na may mismo yung family mo. Uh, the other side, natutulungan po sila. Parang mm -hmm. mga... So how was it to connect with other au pair? Mahirap ba? Or madali? Mm -hmm. Kasi di ba sa ano natin, mahirap magkiwala. Ah, may mga oh. trust issues. Trust issues ka nun. Ako naman yung taong sociable. Parang, hindi naman ako anti-social. Hindi naman ako introverted na person. Pero, hindi kayo yung extrovert. Parang extrovert ka tawag doon. Parang lagi sa labas, parang matigipig. Before, salamuha. Makasalamuhang tao. So, parang extrovert siya. Gwen ka nun. Ah, siguro. Parang bibihira lang din po ang mga prepare. Pinay. Pinay doon. Sa Belgium, marami-rami. Lalo na ako sa may Brussels, nagsikalatan ng mga Pinay doon. Mga Pinoy. So, I was also happy when I stayed in Belgium because I also saw some Filipinas there. It was nice to talk with our own language, with our own dialect because I also met some Ilocanos. Tapos nagkakain din mo kami, tapos may mga get-together din mo, may mga kantahan kasi di ba marilig-ilig naman pa tayong mga video-video okay dyan. Is there a... An experience sa pag-o-pair mo na tinatrider ka or sinisiraan ka, yung mga gano'n na isyo. When I was in Luxembourg, of course, first time ko pa naman yun. So, hindi ko pa masyadong na-adapt yung culture ng ibang tao. And then, I met this Filipina girl. Yeah, she was, she's nice. She was nice. But uh, there are already some trust issues yeah, between us. Because, yeah, lagi siyang nagsisinungaling, lagi niyang binabaliktad yung situation. Do you agree or disagree about au pair uh, being called the modern slave Alaga. these days? Do you agree? Mm -hmm. Actually, no. You don't? 
Yeah. Depende. Depende, depende naman. Depende. Oh, oh, depende naman oh. na sa iyo kung magpa-paste mm, kasi yeah. you have your own contract. So you have to follow the contract. We have our own right. Yeah, yeah you have your own right and mm. then yeah, may 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 kailangan may paninindigan ka. Huwag mong i-allow yung sarili mo na tratuhin ka ng slave. Mm. Kung for example, five hours ka lang, yeah, that's enough. Five hours. Kung kung ano lang yung nasa contract, yun lang yung sundin mo and don't exceed on the mm. contract. Okay, wag kang magpapaalisa. Mm. Wag mo silang isana. And once again, we would like to say thank you to our guest, <laughs> Monet. <laughs> and, all the way from... Uh, all the way from Nueva Vizcaya. And uh, thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe. Bye! Bye. <laughs>